The Own Your Intuitive podcast is for the creatives, spiritual entrepreneurs, and light workers in the world. The shining ones who have been told to dim their light and stop believing in magic. I say screw that. The time to rise is now. To bring your gifts out into the world in a big way. Creating a business that feeds your soul and your bank account. You are a magical being with the potential to change the world, one human at a time. The time for you to own your intuitive is now. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Own Your Intuitive podcast. I'm so excited to be recording my solo episodes again. I took the summer off um, because there was so much going on. We were moving, all sorts of great things. And so I'm excited to bring them back in a way that can support you as an empath, as a healer, as a highly sensitive, and answer any questions that you may have about you know, how you can show up in the world using your gift with energy mastery, with chakra mastery. And so anytime you have any questions or something you would like me to talk about, you can always email me at Tamara at TamaraArnold.ca and I will gladly do an episode specifically to your question. Now today, I actually want to talk about something pretty powerful because I know you, if you've listened to uh, the episode called Word Porn, then you know that words are so important. The language that we use can either amplify our message or as I say it, throw it on the ground, stomp on it and completely destroy it. And so I kind of want to talk about a bad word. And this is coming up because I have a client who is exceptional and wonderful, but she places this word in, in a big value pot. She says, oh, you know, this is the word. This is what is my job description. This is what I do. And it kind of got me thinking about how many of us use this word in a way that almost feels like it's like a, a badge. You know, and so the word that I want to talk about is the word responsible. <laughs> like, do we feel responsible for things? Because responsibility is ownership. And when we talk from the level of an empath, or even if we talk from the level of anyone who isn't even an empath or, you know, taking in energy, responsibility states that we would then take whatever it is happening and make it our concern, our job, our responsibility. But the problem with this is that we add an attachment to it the minute we become responsible for it. That if it fails, if something goes wrong, if it doesn't work out the way that we aspire for it to work out, that it then becomes our fault. So there is a connection or an emotion attached to it. And there's also a, an outcome attached to it. Now, universally, what we aim for is that we are not attaching emotionally to things. We're not attaching outcomes to things because the minute we do, we give our power and parts of ourselves to other people, to events, to experiences, to all of that. And when we do that, that takes us out of the present in our current self, in our body and places us like Nutella spread all on a piece of bread, right? So in order to stay in an amplified state and be able to serve at a higher level, then I wanna give you some alternate ways to think about responsibility. So, you know, when you think about being responsible for your kids, I mean, if you're listening and you're a parent, you do feel a form of responsibility for your kids. But the minute we take on responsibility for the outcome of our children, because we're not there with them 24 seven, it shifts the vibration of this is our fault. Whatever they do when they're not with us becomes completely attached to how we parent them. And so if something goes wrong, then we inspire ourselves to feel guilt, shame, blame, you know, uh, anger, all of these emotions, because our child acted in a way curios with curiosity or whatever it is, and we were responsible for their, their emotions or how they responded to a situation. When we can detach that responsibility and utilize it in a different way, like I am so actively involved in parenting my child. I love showing up as the best parent that I can to support them and give them the information and the tools required in order for them to lead the healthiest and happiest life that they possibly can. There's a big shift. I am actively showing up as the best parent that I can. 
versus I am completely responsible for how my child responds in the world. Notice that when you're actively involved in being a good parent, you, that's a high vibration energy that goes out. But when you're responsible for it, we lower, we limit our capacity because of the attachment that we're putting on that whatever they do is directly correlated back to us. Now, I want you to think about it from the level of your job as well and you know how you're showing up in the business, whether you're self-employed, whether you are working in a company, whether you are running an MLM, it doesn't matter. When you feel responsible for the outcomes of whatever it is that is going on within that company, you take on the responsibility again, that if something goes wrong, you are singularly to blame for whatever didn't get done, whatever happened with the clients, whatever is, you know, going up in flames in some way in the business, you have then attached yourself as being the sole carrier of the issue. And so again, that's a lower vibrational feeling or emotion that you'll have about whatever occurred. They would be like, oh my goodness, I feel so guilty that I didn't go to that or I didn't show up fully or I didn't you know, make this any better or people weren't having a good time or the clients didn't get the result. And that makes you responsible for whether they did or did not do the work for themselves because there's a level of, of co-creation, which is what we're going to switch this to when you're working in an event or you're working for, you know, a company or you have clients. And so instead of saying, I feel really responsible for the way that this event or my clients uh, results are going. What if you, you, you shifted that language to I'm co-creating the best, event in the world that will go out there with whomever is involved in creating this event. And we, we add a little spirit in there as well, because when we're co-creating, we can call on all the higher vibrations. We can get our higher self involved. We can get, you know, God, Mother, Father Sky, Mother Earth, love, how, whoever you call. But going from I feel responsible for this event and my client's results to I'm co-creating this event to be spectacular and everybody to have an exceptional time. And I'm co-creating incredible results with my clients allows there to be more involved than you singularly attaching to the responsibility of the outcome and the emotional state of everybody. So I think this is a really, really powerful shifting conversation. And there's like a million ways you can say something other than attachment emotionally and outcome with the word responsibility, right? Oh, you know, I am amplifying the results with my clients. I am, you know, showing up as the highest vibration of myself for this event and for my clients' results. I am, you know, showing the world what is possible by being at the highest level that I can to support, and that's another word, I'm supporting this event or I'm supporting my client's results. But again, I just wanna bring it down to awareness because awareness, and you've heard me say it a million times, you guys, awareness is the open book to easy. So if you can catch yourself saying I'm responsible for things, notice what happens energetically when you've attached to it as a, you know, response to you being the direct result of whether this goes well or not. And if you shift the language to co-creating, supporting, amplifying, showing up, however it is that you shift it to, notice vibrationally what the difference is in your body and in your language and in your vibration. And even if you just practice saying it out loud, I'm responsible for this, and then notice and then, ooh, I'm co-creating this. Notice. I couldn't not say it like that, you guys. So I'm not trying to like make it seem like a lower vibrate higher. It's just what happens energetically. So yeah, this is a powerful shifting statement. And it's something that if you practice can amplify a higher vibration for you, for where you work, for your coworkers, for your clients, for your family, for your kids. Come on. That's pretty powerful. 
So excited to drop this episode of the Own Your Intuitive podcast. And of course, I would love to know any takeaways or ahas that you had. So always feel free to tag me at Tamara Arnold Author on Facebook and Instagram so that we can celebrate the shift together. I can't wait to drop another Tamara Truth Bomb with love on everybody next Tuesday. If you've been listening to the Own Your Intuitive podcast and you know you are ready to step into your stardust and to shine your light out into this world, but you don't know what your stardust is and you don't know how to bust through your blocks, I would love to jump on a call to find out if the Chakra Business Academy is the perfect place for you to grow into your light worker self, to step into this world as a spiritual entrepreneur, making a difference and making an impact. If you're interested, you can go to tamaraarnold.ca slash application and we'll be on a call in no time and you'll be taking steps into stepping into your stardust and making an impact in the world with the exact purpose that you were put on this earth to do.